Hello, welcome to another episode of using NIME to perform your data analysis or data manipulation. In today's video, we're looking at some data extraction and some data summarization or grouping of data. The data set that we're looking at today consists of two columns. The first column may, is made up of uh, item IDs represented by the header ID and the item uh, the IDs are a six digit number which follows some pattern. The second column represents the categorization of these items or products. For example, the first item with the ID 100123 resides in the category animals and pet supplies that has the code denoted in the brackets called L1 animals. And the uh, item 100128 resides in a category called bird cage, bird baths, which is denoted by the code L5 bird baths. The goal of today's data extraction and data summarization activity is to find out the code of the of the final child category to which an item belongs to for example the product 100126 belongs to the child category bird supplies and the code for that is l3 bird supplies the product 100129 belongs to the bird cage food and water dishes category and the code for that is l5 bird cage food water so the first goal is to extract the code of the category that each product belongs to the second goal of this exercise is that if you notice you see that some products belong to multiple categories for example this product 100130 belongs to the category bird food bird treats and also for some reason belongs to the bird cage food and water dishes category and the product 100131 belongs to bird bird cage bird baths and also bird cage food and water dishes categories so in these cases where a product belongs to multiple categories we want to see the codes of those products shown in the same column but separated by commas to achieve that we are going to be using these nodes in nine the first node, of course, is to read the file using the file reader node. The second node is called regex extractor. So we are going to extract the code of each category that resides in the brackets using a regular expression extractor. Now the regex extractor is not a node that you will find in NIME by default. But if you install the extension Palladian, you'll note that one of the extension nodes available through Palladian is the regex extractor. The next node that we're going to use is column rename. And we're also going to use group by in order to combine the multiple categories that an item belongs to into the same column and separate them by commas. And finally, we are going to write out the final output using a CSV writer. So the output that we expect from this exercise is something like this. We have the columns ID and a column called child categories. The ID column contains the product numbers as we have seen in the input data set. And the child categories column will have the codes of the categories that the products belong to. 
and in case a product belongs to multiple categories the codes of those categories should be available in the same column separated by commas now let's dive into name and build out this workflow we are now in the name analytics platform and what you'll see here is the solution of this exercise available and saved into a workflow i am going to create a new workflow and replicate the this workflow to achieve the objectives of this exercise so let me go to new workflow select the type as new name workflow next and specify a name for this workflow click on finish so this is a blank slate and to this the first thing that we need is the file reader node let me zoom in so it's easier to see so we are starting first with the file reader node the file reader node is as yet unconfigured i'm going to right click on the file con file reader node and configure it and here i can select my file which is taxonomy2.csv choose and you can see the data here we have column 1 which is the product id and column 2 is the categorization i'll click okay and then i will execute it and you can see here that my file has been read the next step is to use the regex extractor and extract the code of the the final child category that the product belongs to so i am going to go into my node repository and type in regex and under the palladian under extraction i see the regex extractor i am going to drag that into my workflow let me connect the file reader to the regex extractor and right click on this to configure so in this regex field i need to put the actual regular expression that i am going to use to extract this data now i i use regex101.com which is an excellent regular expression testing tool which you can use while you are trying to build out your expressions so in this case this is my expression the uh, that is going to uh, give me the the codes within the categories and this symbol at the very end the end of string symbol is going to help me pick the final category code no matter how long my categorization path is so let me copy this and i'm going to go back to name and apply the regular expression so we are back in name i'm going to paste my expression here and you can see that in the sample data the regular expression is able to find the code that exists within the category now the output provides a full match and a group 1 extract in this case i don't want the full match into the output i just want the group 1 so i'm going to click on the no full match option i'll click okay and now my node is ready to be run so let me run this and you'll see in the output 
that my final category has been extracted from each of these paths. So the next thing that I want to do is using the group by option, I want to ensure that if a product belongs to multiple categories, the products, the product category codes are available in the same column. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the group by node and I'm going to drag that onto my workflow. Let me connect my regex extractor to group by and I'm going to right click and configure. Now in this case, I would like to group by using the ID column. So the ID column is the group columns. Next, we want to merge the data in the group one column for each of the product IDs. In order to do that, you click on manual aggregation, select the group one column and click on add. And here, the type of aggregation has to be changed to concatenate. And the, by default, there is a value delimiter that will be used to separate the values that are concatenated into the same column. I'm going to click OK. And the node is ready to be run. Let me run this. The final step before I extract is to rename the output column rename the output column to the one that we want. So let me kind of connect the group by to rename, right click, configure, select the concatenate group one column, double click on it and change it to child categories. Click OK execute the node. So you'll see in the output, we have an ID column and a child categories column. Next, we'll export this into a CSV file. So I'm going to pick the CSV writer, node, connect the column rename to CSV writer, right click, configure, and pick a location for the output. And I'll save that as a CSV file. Let me click on OK. Now the node is ready to be run. Right click, execute, and the file has been exported. And let me just save this workflow. Now let's go look at the output. Now this is the file that we had saved. Let me zoom in so it's easier to see. Oops. Uh, you see here, I was expecting the first row of the file to have the column ID and the uh, column header here called child categories. But in this case, you see that that's not the case. So we'll go back to nine. In nine, we'll reconfigure the CSV writer and select the right column header checkbox. Click OK. Yes. And execute it. So now you can see that the columns have their right headers as I expected them to. Also, in each of the child categories, we have the cate category code that each of these items belongs to. And for those products that belong to multiple categories, 
we have the category codes of all those categories separated by commas like in these two products so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you find this useful and there are more videos to come thank you for watching